Hello, hi everyone, I'm Christian Cake of the Hobbit, and this is Horus. Now, Horus is an adorable story driven platformer that's in development right now. It's being made by Paul Hellman, and uh, it has a demo out on itch.io for Windows, so check the link in the description below if you want to play it. Let's go right in now and uh, start a new game. Check out the demo. Horus, this is it. Come on. Can we save data? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. New game. Come on. I'm playing with the controller, by the way, but you can play with the keyboard too. Horus, Man 2.0, initializing. The birth of Horus. Ow. That tickles. It's alive! It's alive! Alive and ready to be shipped. Wow, really? Hazmat suits? Come on. I'm not contaminating. Contaminated. Jesus. Hmm. Is this Solomon Automatons? I'm naked. I am actually naked, yeah. It's okay. I can duck. I can look up if I want to. And I can walk really creepily like I'm a freaking monster. I'm not a monster. And Hello? So humans? I was born. The first people I remember seeing were the old man, the old lady, and their daughter, Heather. After they'd said hello, the old man powered me down, so he could install some software. I could tell him Torrent downloaded. <laughs> the old man didn't give me a silly voice, or stupid personality. And the old lady didn't dress me like a clown. Although for some reason, <laughs> Heather really didn't like me. Once I'd had time to get used to walking, the old man asked me to dash from one end of the room to the other. Alright, so dashing, well we can walk, this is our walking speed, and we can also run! It's a really cool place! Big house! I wonder if uh, the old man is the one who designed me. <laughs> Next, hey. the old man spent Done a couple it. of hours building some wooden platforms. He said he wanted me to jump up them, but I must admit, I was scared. It wasn't until I saw Heather and her mother happily climbing up them, that I decided it might be okay. Well, you're a robot, you should be okay. Alright, let's jump. Wow, I, I, I'm, I'm kind of squeaky, as you can hear. I need some... Uh, some uh, lubricant. What's that? No way shoes. Hey, I can jump! Rearrange the platforms. He told me to try to reach the other end of the room without touching the floor. Heather said the floors made it louder. But when I smiled at <laughs> her, she just frowned and looked away. The old lady arranged some pillows and blankets. She said it was in case I fell, but I think she just wanted it to look more like lava. Okay. The floor is lava. Do not touch the lava. Ah. Jump! Ooh, crap, that's a long jump. Jump! Nice, when we did it! The other side, the old man just smiled and said, That'll do, for now. 
The next morning, the old man gathered everyone together, to show them what I was capable of. What else does he do? asked Mr. Silton. The old man smiled. He can help around the house. Can he, um, help me with my, um, newspaper collecting? asked Alice. I'm not sure that's a good idea, said the old lady, but he can do all Why sorts not? of jobs. Yeah, said Mr. Silton, shove a stick up his ass and he can do Dex job. Now, now, hmm. said the old man, we have company, pointing to some important looking people. Two large men, both called Gary, set up what the old man <laughs> referred to. Both as called as Gary. He said again, I should try to get from one end of the room to the other, but I shouldn't be worried, as I had a special chip which meant no matter how damaged I was, I couldn't die. He said it was like infinite lies in a video game. But when he realized I didn't understand, he said he would explain another time. Alright, so now we have freaking lasers, and if we touch them, that's what happens. So we need to avoid the lasers. Freaking lasers. Oh, no, not here. Here we are. Wait for it. Whoa! Come on. Careful! Whoa! 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 Careful! Let's go! Run! Run from the lasers! Wait, that go down? No. Oh, okay. The Garys then oh, rearranged nice. the room one last time. The old man smiled. <laughs> the Garys. Now, now, there's no need to look so glum. He said, "I'm still happy with everything you've done today." So this time, I was determined to do him proud. Now let's make the old man proud. What do we have? Some... Well, those aren't lasers though. Uh... Oh, okay, that's a laser. That's a laser too. Be careful. I just have to wait for it to pass. Come on, jump! Whew. Oh, okay. Careful. Let's not touch the freaking lasers. Is there anything here? Is there a laser coming or something? Oh, no. Okay. The old man hey, we did it! Actually, seemed quite Whew. happy when I made it through. We might have a winner after all. Said the man in black. It's no kill by 3000, but you can almost see the fire in its eyes. A couple of days hmm. later, they the wanted a combat. She had a surprise Robot? for me. My own room. She also wanted nice. to play some music. I wasn't sure after what Mr. Silton had shown me. Hmm. <laughs> I guess he likes the music. As if music wasn't amazing enough, the old lady then bought me a television set. I couldn't believe Aww. what I saw. I watched everything I could. Comedy, drama, horror, sci-fi. <laughs> Anything anyone wanted to watch, I would happily watch with them. Then one day, the old man set up a small box. He plugged some cables into the television. Ooh, a console! Said, this is what I meant when I said video games. <laughs> nice. I played games at every chance I could. I took on everyone. I was unstoppable. Nice twist of music. Music, film, and television. But to me, video games really were the highest art form. Pong, the one and only. Heather's birthday was a couple of months later. Her mum and dad had bought her a camera and arranged a mm. day out by the sea so that Heather could take some photos, although I really don't think she wanted any pictures of me. When the old man asked the professor if he wanted to go, he frowned and said, 
I can't believe you want to spend time with that thing. It could destroy the world. I wasn't sure what he meant. What? But the old man the just robot? smiled and said, That's what you said about the Game Boy. Anton, how about you? Hmm. I don't think so, said Mr. Deck. The last time I got in that car, Barry crashed us into a branch of Woolworths. I never would have gone into Woolworths of my own accord. The old man explained that the car was old and the brakes had failed, but Mr. Deck was having none of it. So Mr. Silfen and Alice came along for the fresh air. I enjoyed Aww, being out. Funny webbit. Although the old lady kept telling me to be careful of the rickety old walkways. It felt like she was telling me off. But I think she was just concerned. Old man? Hmm. As the old man and I stood on the clifftops, I could see something in the distance. I wasn't sure what it was, so I asked the old man. He said it was a battleship that had sunk in the 1940s. But he looked so sad when he spoke about war. I didn't see what happened. What the hell? But the metal platform Heather was climbing on had collapsed. She was oh safe, no. even if the rocks she was on looked very dangerous. The tide was rising, and we didn't know how long the Coast Guard was going to be. So I offered to climb oh, down and get her. The old man agreed, but said I should be careful, as Heather doesn't have infinite lives, like I do. <laughs> it's okay, I'm gonna rescue her. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, those things fall. That's great. Come on. Come on, Horus. Save the girl. Oh. Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Heather Why is this loose cape? Oh! And here. Her leg was broken. So I picked her up as gently as I could. I decided it would be best if I didn't run the rest of the way. Oh, okay. So I can't run. Alright, as long as these things don't just fall with me, that's fine. Okay. Oh, nice. Wait for it. Hey, we're An here! Ambulance had arrived by the time I had made it back to the cliff top. The girl is saved! The medics made sure Heather was okay, and then took her off to hospital. A few days later, we all went to see how she was doing. She was fine, but would have to wear hmm. the cast for a couple of months. Ah, she likes me now. That I saved her life. Robot saves local girl. Mechanical man to the rescue. Hero robot. Hero bot. Smallest font illegible. <laughs> oh, is that me pushing the girl in the wheelchair? <laughs> Come on, we're just having fun. Once Heather got to know hey, the me, we became good friends. We enjoyed the same films and TV. She was also annoyingly good at some of my favorite games. <laughs> After a while, she became very interested in how I worked. Soon she knew as much about me as the old man did, if not more. We spent the next couple of months visiting other countries, as when it came to teaching me things, the old man always liked to pick interesting locations. <laughs> he had explained the basics of mathematics to me at the Great Pyramid of Egypt. 
taught me history in the dead of night, surrounded by mysterious giant stones. Stonehenge. He showed me science in action high up in a hot air balloon. This is why I was surprised when the old man took me to a restaurant. It was nice, but it seemed very somber compared to the previous grand locations. He said he just wanted to chat, and this was nice and quiet. Plus it was his favorite place to eat. We talked about life, the universe, Douglas Adams, everything really. When I asked him why were we here, why did we exist, he just smiled and said, life is like a game, just don't expect to be finished anytime soon. When I looked puzzled, he said, well, everyone should have a purpose. So I asked him, what's my purpose? He thought for a bit, then said, so you want to be a real boy? Which just confused <laughs> me even more. Eventually the yeah, old exactly. man said, for now, I want you to help clean things around the house. I must have looked unimpressed. As he then said, Okay. I want you to clean one million things. It didn't sound like the meaning of life. But I suppose you've got to start somewhere. Yeah, it's a job. The right? next day, the Cleaning old stuff? man said he wanted to install some more software. So he powered me down. When I came to, he said Mr. Silton had a joke for me, and that I should pull his finger. I don't think I got the joke. So the old man powered me down again. This time when <laughs> I pulled Mr. Silton's finger, I got the joke. He farted. But it wasn't ah. very funny. The old man then explained that he had installed a special chip which allowed me to clean away anything that was broken. He then said he Stipped wanted up. me to find and clean all of the items in the room, then come back here. Alright. So basically what you have to do is just kind of touch them. The bigger things you have to stay kind of longer with them. To clean them up. Right. See? This one takes a bit longer. Gonna have to hover. Clean everything up. Okay, we're not done. Not done yet. Ah, uh, wait. This place is filthy. So much to clean. Spark, come back. Sparks, actually, because there's, there's multiple sparks. Okay. Got that. This should be the last thing. I believe so. Let's go. Yep. Heather and I to follow him outside. I was happy too. As it was a lovely hot day. <laughs> the old man said he was worried that Alice had been hoarding again. She had filled up a small barn with old bicycles and newspapers. Heather said, Oh, hoarding! This would be a perfect chance to properly test my new powers. The old man thought for a second, then said, Using the step toe chip, I should find and clean at least 300 things. When we explained to Alice what we wanted to do, she seemed scared. But after the old lady kindly explained that, well, the barn was starting to smell. She said it would be okay. Hmm. One last thing, Great. said the old man. A hoarder. If you want to use a door, just push up. When I was about to enter the old barn, Mr. Silton said he had seen some mushrooms growing inside. He asked me to give him any that I found. He then winked, but I wasn't sure why. Must have been some magic mushrooms. Oh crap. <laughs> okay, so I'm not supposed to go in the... Okay. 
Alright, let's see. Oh, lots of stuff here. Wow. That's quite the... Quite the junk. Hmm. How do we get up there? To the door, maybe? I guess. Jeez, look at all this stuff. So much crap around here. Hmm. Okay. So much crap. Okay. Oh, oh, I got some mushrooms. Freaking mushrooms, more stuff to clean. Huh. Interesting photo. Well, painting, I guess. Okay. Whoa! Oh no! Ah, crap. I got... I got electrocuted! That is not bueno. Come on. Okay, so... Oh, come on! Again? Jesus! Sorry. Oh crap, no, 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 don't go there yet. Okay. Okay, so. Ah! Uh, nice. Oh no, we didn't get this thing. Okay, now we got it, okay. Now we got it, come on. So. Oh, come on, man! Jesus! Okay. Whatever. Okay. Oh no! Jump. Ah! What the hell? Come on, Horus. What the hell are you doing? Okay. Come on. Get the stuff. Good. That's a good robot. Wait for it. Don't die. Okay. Definitely don't die, okay, right. Uh, did I get anything here? Oh, come on, man! Are you sh kidding me right now? He just felt like a dumbass! Okay, that's stupid. Oh! Ah, damn it, I wasn't fast enough. It's okay, it's alright. We can do this. We can, yes we can, come on. Okay, okay, alright, alright, okay, let's... Let's try not to die this time! <laughs> oh, Jesus! Oh my god, it's like... I get electrocuted so many times! It's okay. Okay, wait, wait. Okay. Oh, come on! Damn it. That's frustrating! Oh, okay, come on. Okay, so. Got the mushrooms, got this. Okay. I think I got everything here. Uh, actually, let me check. If I press start. Yeah, things collected in this area. 32 out of 32. Okay, so we got everything here. Good. Now. I don't think we collected everything here. Let's see? Mushrooms, all sorts of stuff. And wait. And here, I think, yeah, last place. All right, got it. I think we collected everything. I believe so. The old man was very happy with everything yes. that I had cleaned, but I think Mr. Hmm. Silton was even more happy with his mushrooms. Chunky. Hmm, autumn? I guess, right? It was yep. like the days autumn. getting shorter, or the evenings getting colder. It was the falling leaves that really made me feel sad. No. Oh. As we watched the trees blowing in the breeze, the old lady said, The leaves must fall before the blossom comes. She had already explained the seasons to me, so for once, I actually understood. 
that it didn't make me feel any better. The old lady obviously had enough of my moping, and said, Right, next week we're going to have a party. For some reason she insisted that we were all going to wear costumes. Heather was very excited and said, I've got some perfect ideas. Oh, it's a Halloween party, right? Because autumn... Yep. Halloween party! Hmm. I guess this is a huge event. 7 p.m. to... I don't know. <laughs> it was terrifying. Everyone was dressed like someone else. I think I was meant to be some kind of pumpkin, as everyone kept shouting, It's the Great Pumpkin. Still, hmm. at least Mr. Silton was having fun telling everyone his joke. And I suppose Heather's costume was quite flattering. Hmm. She was dressed as Horace. After nice. what seemed Cute. like forever, everybody left, and things got back to normal. Heather was allowed to watch a scary film before she went to bed. But I had to help Alice and Mr. Deck clean up. I wasn't happy about this. But the old man said if I was quick, then I could watch the end of the film with them. Alright. Let's Alice clean. was vacuuming, and Mr. Deck was taking down the decorations. So I thought I should clean up the plates and glasses. Hmm. Easy job for a robot for an automaton. What the hell? The uh, what's going on? The fire alarm. As usual, Mr. Deck blamed Mr. Silton, saying he was probably smoking one of his jazz cigarettes. But then the professor appeared. He said that there was something burning in the kitchen. Alice looked confused, Fire. saying that she hadn't cooked anything since the morning. We were all surprised when Mr. Deck opened the oven. Inside was a large black cloak and a slightly burnt pair of men's underwear. Suddenly the old hmm. lady burst in. She looked terrified. She kept shouting, there's someone on the roof. When we went outside, it slowly became obvious that it was Mr. Silton. He was completely naked and playing his guitar. He shouted, The hell? When I finish this song, I'm going to fly. The old lady said, uh -oh. oh my god, I know this one. There's only about 30 seconds left. The old man then quickly turned to me and said, You know what to do. Oh crap, okay. Alright. Need to save the crazy guy. Great. Come on, 30 seconds, oh, wait, come on, come on, come on, oh crap, 30 seconds, what the hell, oh, uh. oh no, nah, crap, ah, come on, quickly, uh. do we did it, okay, come on, after the roof. Mr. Silton was beside the edge. I tried to calm him down, but he was acting even more bizarre than usual. Oh, he's tripping. Damn. He's tripping hard. Robot saves local idiot. Hero bot saves again. Android also and Mr. hero Silton was fine. He said he had eaten some bad magic mushrooms. Part of me wondered why he hadn't doubled in size. Still, hmm. he was soon laughing and joking with the paramedics. One of them said he looked like the world's worst clown. I don't think Mr. Silton liked that. So he told his own joke. But that just made the other paramedic call him Marshmallow Marso. I don't think he liked that either, but at least he was still in one piece. 
<laughs> so, this is only a demo, but I still wanted you to see plenty of my story, so if we just skip ahead a little, let's just say I woke up here. Was I dead? Whoa. Was this heaven? It sort of looked no. like the basement bathroom. Okay, so this is fast it forward was in time. The old man was going to give me. I thought I might as well put them on. They were just the right size. The old man's hat fit me pretty good as well. I'm sure he wouldn't mind if I wore it. Amazingly, the shoes allowed me to defy gravity. Huh. Or maybe it was the hat. Now I think it's the shoes. Okay, so now we can walk on sunshine and on um, on walls and ceilings. Which is pretty cool. Oh, kind of there. Part of the basement was flooded, and the stairs had collapsed. I didn't know what was oh, going on, there. but I knew I wanted to get back upstairs. All right, what's the this? Was locked. I would need a key to open it. I had okay. to be careful. The electricity was Whoa. going haywire in some places. Okay, that's pretty crazy. So this is the house, I guess. Oh. Oh. Okay. Definitely, something definitely happened to the house, right? Because it's, uh... Um... Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Because it kind of looks like it's been abandoned, or been asleep, something. Months, years, Look at this. I was so confused. Where had everybody gone? Hmm. I mean, it's destroyed here? What the fudge happened? I guess I can clean at least. Wow, lots of junk. Alright, I guess I can go there. But what the fudge happened to the house? Did the people die? Did they move? What happened? Oh. So much to clean. So much to clean around here. Huh. Oh look, more stuff to clean. Wait. Wait. What? Oh no, 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 wait, wait. No, I just wanna go down. Wait. No. Just, just fall down. Okay. That's better. Oh, so much junk. Where's my family? The old man, the old woman, the girl. What the hell? The gate was locked. I would need a key to open it. What the fudge? Someone screaming. Coming from one of the bedrooms, but the stairs were blocked by a wall of fire. Mm. Great, great walls of fire. Run. Okay. The people screaming turned out to be a man, a woman, and their children. They were confused oh. and terrified. At first, the man looked like he was ready to fight me, but after I convinced them that I was there to help, he calmed down. There was no way I could carry them all at once, so the children went first. Oh, okay. Alright, let's go. Come on, children. But who who are these people? Because that's I that's something that I don't know. Up at the front door and promised them that I would be back with their parents. Oh no, it's getting worse! Come on, quickly, quickly, quickly! Oh no! Oh no! Uh, this is bad, this is bad. The fire was getting much worse, so the woman went next. Come on! 
I wish I could run, but I can't. Come on, come on, come on. Well, at least I can jump. Oh no! Okay. Okay, alright, we're good, we're good, we're good. Come on. It's uh, very good that I, I, I don't need any oxygen. All the woman said was, thank you, please hurry. I couldn't leave, not okay. while people were in trouble. Oh crap. Oh no! This one's blocked too! Okay. What the fudge? Oh great. Oh! Wait. By the time oh no! I managed to get back, the man was unconscious. He's fainted. I had to pick him Crap. up quickly, as I could tell the house Come was on. going to collapse at any moment. See, see heavy. Oh, oh yeah, he's heavy. Uh, I can barely jump with him. Okay. Oh, that was close. Come on. Come on. It's okay, he's a professional. Horse is fine, I'm sure. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, the game is named after horse, so, yeah. He's gotta be fine. See? Hey, the hero! Again. Are we gonna see like newspapers again? About the uh, Horus? There were plenty of other things that happened, but again for the purposes of the demo, let's skip forward to where I was back inside the mansion. Alright, so... Everything here... Everything here is pretty much uh, a showcase to kind of give you an idea of what's, uh, you know, what you can expect from the game in later stages, but um, but they're not, uh, how should I say it, um, it's, you know, just for practice. Oh crap, okay, that's not good. It's uh, so you get to see you no know, more of the house and of the challenges. Oh crap! Okay, that was not good. See? Oh come on, dude! I jumped. I jumped, and apparently it didn't work. Okay. Oh. Oh crap! Okay, see that that thing will uh, kill me. All right. Okay. All right, that's pretty crazy, actually. Pretty sure I'm not supposed to touch these. Okay, let's uh, move forward. So there, there are multiple rooms, right? That uh, that you can go through, and you can see various challenges, like with this thing, right? You have to go kind of up and down and move it all around and stuff. It's like, uh, come on. Oh crap. Uh, ah, jump. See, so you pick some stuff up again. I mean, I don't know why you have to clean, but uh, that's something that you can do. So you go around. Um, they're like maybe five, six something rooms like that, like this. Where you pretty much just, uh, go around and try to find, uh, let me go. Come on. And of course you don't have to clean everything up. You can, but I think you don't have to. Mm. Okay. Come on. That's that's a good Horus. There we are. Let's see. 19 out of 23 stuff got we got from here. Uh, it's actually a pretty crazy level. This one. 
Ouch! See? Crazy level. Oh crap. Why did I do that? I should have just uh, crouched. That was weird. That was my fault. That was stupid. That was me being silly. That was me being very, 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 very silly. Oh crap! Ah, I should have, I should have run and jumped. That, that, that was the problem. Yes, that was, that, that was the issue. Okay. Always run and jump. When in doubt, run and jump. Then jump again. And then run and jump again, and and so on and so forth. Uh, lots of stuff. Is there anything? Oh, there's one thing to collect in this area, to, to clean. It's, uh... Okay. Wait. Uh, crap. Run. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. I don't know what's what's there to clean around here. I'm not really sure. Oh. All right. Oh, crap. Uh, crap. 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 Oh no 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 no. Oh fudge. Okay, start start from the beginning. Uh, which I don't really want to, but, um, I guess... Oh, crap. Oh. Whoa. Careful! Oh, come on, dude, I jumped! Like, early enough. Okay, that was... that was not good. That was no bueno. No bueno. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, oh. Jump, jump. There's a lot of jumping to be done in this game. Uh, it's, and it's not all very well pronounced. Okay. Come on. Come on, dude. That's a good boy. Oh. Oh no, fudge! Ah, oh, mother fudger. That was dumb. That was my fault. That was my fault! That was my fault! Crap. Crap. I don't know what's what's going on with these robots, but they're annoying! Ah, oh, why did I jump when I saw the thingy there? That was, that was dumb of me. Like this, I was like, too much in a hurry, see? When you hurry, you get uh, killed. Like that. Okay. Whoa. Hehe. <laughs> Careful. Okay. Whoa. Oh, mother fudger. <laughs> you know what? Screw this. Let's go back. Can I go back? I think I can go all the way back. Let's, uh, let's see. Because not only can you go back, you can go in other areas. Wait, let me see. Uh, wait. Oh, here we are. Wait. Wait for it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Here we are. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um. Oh, that's stuff to clean, by the way. Hmm. Oh, can't go there, really? Okay. Hmm. Well, I can go there, right? Oh, come on! I was so shy, there. Ah, oh, crap. Wait. Can I just... Oh, I can't, probably, right? No, I can't go down there. Can't go down there, it's okay. It's alright. Whoa, 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 careful, careful. Hmm. Oh, I know how to go back, I think. I think I know. I think? Oh yes, like this. And I just go like this. And then up. And we go back. See? Like that. Whoa! And we... I think we got... yeah, 22 out of 23. There's one thing left here. 
But I want to go here because this will um, allow you to go in other areas. Mm -hmm. Oh, fudge! Ah, damn it! It's okay. It's okay. Ah, grab that. Grab that little chain. Whoa, 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 whoa. See, there are a few more doors here. Wait for it. Wait for it. Okay. We got that. We got that. This huge cog. And I believe this is at the end of the... Yeah, see? The previous level. This one... This one thing to get, apparently. I don't know what to clean. Um... I'm not really sure if you have to clean up everything. Like, if that's gonna be, you know, one of the challenges. Okay. Oh, crap. Whoa! Run! No! Razor! Okay. Oh, crap. Careful. Oh! No, freaking lasers, man! Freaking lasers, man! Whoa, 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 Oh, crap. Run! No, don't touch me! Oh, no. Oh, no, laser! Damn it! Whoa! Ah, oh, crap. There's, uh, there's a real issue with the way the... F um... Like, um... For some reason, your character is like, I don't know, pushed in a certain area. I don't understand why. Hmm. Oh, oh, come on, dude! I jumped. I didn't go. Oh, okay, that's. I uh, see. That's one of the annoying. One of the annoying things is that your character goes like on an angle, and it's kind of stupid when you don't want him to. Oh, fudge you! Fudge you! Uh, come on, dude. No, I don't want to. Okay, well, I guess. Oh, fudge. It's, uh, too many freaking lasers. That's the problem. Too many freaking lasers. Fewer lasers. That would be nice. I would like fewer lasers, please. Oh, come on. Uh, that's, see, that's, that's really crap because I jumped. I definitely jumped. Wow! Come on, dude! You jump! Jump properly, man! Okay, like that, kinda. Oh, fudge you. So basically, you have to go all the way to the other side of the room. That That's that's what you have to do. Uh, the only problem is the way everything is, like, turned. It's kinda stupid. Like, uh... Oh, see, it's like... You have to be fast, but the way the, the um, your character like or the, or the camera til camera tilts, like even though, okay, see this one worked, but this one will have to go like this, and I missed it. I don't know why, but he just didn't. He just didn't want to jump all the way there. That's um, that's an issue. Oh, uh, see, that doesn't jump, although I, I run, I run, I try, and yet he doesn't do it. I don't know why. I don't know why, I don't know. See, now now he, um, see this? Why, why is the thing not, uh, not proper? I don't know. Oh, uh, come on, man, I was so close. So close. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Ah! Oh, fudge you! That was so shit. That was so crap. That was so tough to crap. Like the fact that you know, look, look at this. So okay, the game definitely needs to turn things like properly, cause it. Uh, see, I'm jumping now, so I'm jumping in front, right? Like, whoa! But it doesn't work. So it's um, it's weird. It's 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 not great. It's definitely not great, and there are lasers everywhere. But, uh, you know, if you want to try it yourself, uh, go through this thing, which is very difficult. Um, there And there are other a, a few other levels. Then I would uh, tell you to check out Horus. The demo is available on itch.io right now. Just see the link in the description below. 
Um. Uh, oh, freaking moose head. I mean, that's okay. So check out the horrors, everyone. Uh, again, to the link in the description below. The demo is available for free, and uh, you know, give some feedback, maybe uh, say what you like, what you didn't like, and uh, you know, hopefully we'll get to see more. Actually, well, the plan is to um, see more of horrors, like um, the full release. I mean in uh, s the spring of 2019 so um, you know there's uh, there's some time for feedback and for changes if you'd like so check out the uh, horrors everyone again on itch.io right now developed by paul hellman thanks so much everyone for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up right quick and if you like what i do here consider subscribing and telling other people about the channel youtube.com slash i do gameplay videos developer interviews live streams so there's pretty much something for everyone um so um yeah check out the channel and uh whoa whoa whoa, 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 whoa. okay this one i need to kill this little, little thing here this little mannequin Check out the channel, um, spread the word if you can, subscribe if you are not a subscriber yet, and uh, use the affiliate links to help me out. Uh, there are Amazon and Humble Store affiliate links, so if you use those services at any point in time, just uh, bookmark the links in the description, and whenever you use them to make a purchase, you help me and the channel out too. Yes, I just got cut in half. Thanks again everyone for watching, and until the next time we see each other, have an awesome day!